Greetings, my friends. You're seeing the number 666 everywhere now, everywhere nowadays. The number 666 is everywhere you look. It's the number of a man, the Antichrist, and he's here right now. Revelation 13, 18, in the King James Version Bible says, Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it's the number of a man, and his number is 600, 3 score, and 6, or in other words, 666. <coughs> we have now a new bill, HR. 6666, the COVID-19 testing, reaching, and contacting everyone, or the TRACE Act. We have Microsoft's new cryptocurrency patent, 60606, 666. It's everywhere. The number is just popping up everywhere now. But remember, as scripture says, the number 666 is the number of a man. Only one man's name matches that number, and his name is Barack Obama. The entire 666 avalanche began with him, and it will end with him. All 666-related anything, end times, ties right back to the man whose name is a number, and that number again is 666. Barack Hussein Obama, three names, 18 letters, 18 divided by 3 is 6, 666. So let me go ahead and back up what I'm saying, which I love to do. I'm going to give you proof, so you can see I'm not just talking out of the side of my neck. Barack Obama's zip code in Chicago when he was uh, doing all of his uh, his big work up to being a senator, 60606. Obamacare was the first, with the first RFID chip anywhere. Obama set a special vote count to pass it. At the first and the last time that vote happened in history, and that vote count equals 666 for the Obamacare with the mark of the beast, I'm convinced, RFID chip in it. Obama released 6,600 and 66 prisoners when he was in office. You getting this now? We just saw 6666 again up there in the new HR bill. That's when prisoners Obama released. And the first computer ever, personal computer that was personal computers ever sold, was sold again for six 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 point six 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 hundred sixty six dollars and six six cents. And I'm convinced that the computers will play a huge time huge part in the end times. And again, who started computers? Apple. And again, they're, they're in Obama's hip pocket. They are one of uh, Obama's main henchmen. So again, the Antichrist Obama re gave back a portion of his salary when he, when he was in the White House. He said he was overpaid. You know how much money he gave back? $6,666.66. ,66, okay? Six sixes. The Antichrist Barack Obama received a $666,000 and $666 donation from Chicago. Okay? Again, six sixes. That was back in 2015. Obama was depicted as Christ or God in endless magazines, pictures, and paintings. His name, again, has 18 letters, three names, 18 divided by three, six. Three sixes is 666, the number of a man, the number of the beast. His 2008 slogan, Yes, We Can. When Backmass clearly says, thank you, Satan, you can see the Antichrist beaming as millions everywhere thanked their god, Satan, along with him, as he did. His favorite limo was named the Beast. Doctors have stated, doctors everywhere have stated, the best place for RFID chips in Obamacare, when it finally becomes, the mar when, the, when the chip becomes mandatory eventually. And the best place to put that, the only place it would work fully functionally would be in the right hand or the forehead. Sound familiar? He created Obamacare, to most people's chagrin. And remember, he didn't even want people to see what was inside until after it was approved. That's because he buried the mandatory RFID chip deep in its pages that will one day be required by all humans. I'm convinced of that. He got the rest of the world interested in RFID chipping technology as well. And as a result, they've also been preparing it since he was in office also. If this is the mark of the beast, it's just another of the endless examples of the number 666 following him. Oh, and he also changed law constantly, sound familiar, to now allow beheading as a form of legal execution. And that's what will happen to those who refuse the mark of the beast. They'll be beheaded. His name, again, his Chicago zip code, 60606. His name, Barack Obama, in Hebrew, means Satan fell from us heights like lightning. Sound familiar? There was a picture when he first became, was running for office in his headquarters, there's a park, a car parked right out in front of his headquarters. A, a picture of the license plate was snapped. That license plate number was 666. 
In each of the following, on the day it occurred, the Illinois lottery winning number was 666, and this is unheard of. 16 January 2008, the one-year anniversary of Obama announcing his candidacy for president, 666, winning number. 22 March 2008, New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson endorsed Obama, and Hillary's campaign begins to wither, the winning number in the Chicago lottery, 666. October 23rd, 2008, New York Times officially endorses Obama, the number of the winning number of the lottery, 666. 5 November 2008, Obama wins the general election, defeating John McCain for president. The winning numbers of the Chicago lottery are 666 that day. Final musings on 666 and Obama. When Barack Hussein Obama left the White House, it was 666 months from, from the month he was born. Did you get in this? 216 connection. 216 is 6 times 6 times 6, or 666. The number 216 has extensive links to a cult phenomenon. This includes the fact that 216 is 6 times 6 times 6. This means that 216 is the Illuminati code for 666. Barack Obama was born 4 August of 61, the 216th day of the year, or 666. Barack Obama was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, if he was born there, at latitude 216, or 666. Again, he obtained passage of Obamacare legislation with an odd requirement of 216 votes, which is 666. It's usually 218 votes, but he made it 216 just for that with his Mark of the Beast in it. Unbelievable, my friends. He signed off on Twitter with the number 666. With all this I've shared above, the odds now with this information that it could be anyone else who's the Antichrist right now, the future Antichrist matching all these requirements, the odds are roughly what's called Graham's number. It's simply written as three space three period. This number is too large to humanly communicate. So again, People could say whatever they want to say, and I'm looking. If someone else comes along that matches every scripture in the Bible, all 21 scripture like Obama does, if it matches all these sidebar issues, if, if then there'll be two candidates for the future Antichrist. But right now, there's one. I don't care who the Antichrist is. This is being done for those who are left behind so they can know what they're dealing with. All the left behind, unsaved, and backslidden Christians who mock me all the time, they can understand who they're dealing with because I'm going to be in heaven when this happens. But I'm warning you because, again, everyone keeps seeing these numbers popping up now. They're forgetting that the number 666 follow Obama around like a fly on stink. This is the bottom line. Jesus Christ is your only hope, my friends. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Love you all so much. And look up true Christians. Our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share this video. Get the word out. And please wake up and understand. Whoever the Antichrist might be has to match all scripture in the Bible. Obama only matches it now.